What's the mood like at the conference today? Uh, the reports yesterday, disgruntled ANC members going to court at the 11th hour um, and the mother body expressing unhappiness about these kind of moves. What's happening today? Good morning, uh, Daisy. Of course, a direct opposite of what we've seen in the past couple of days. There's a lot of jubilation, excitement, singing as many delegates continue to trickle in inside of this Irene, uh, this St. George's Hotel here in Irene. Many singing songs that one would imagine signal that they are up and ready for this conference. But indeed, as you have just alluded, Desiree, it has not been an easy road building up to this conference today. There's been a lot of court interdicts that, that have been sort of applied at the High Court in Johannesburg. And of course, one of those was brought forward by the Egoruleni region, where they were expressing their unhappiness in the sense that there were some disputes in their regional conference, which was building up to this one that we are having here, the provincial one. But of course, that has been uh, set aside by the judge. They're saying that it's not as urgent making way of course for this conference the elective conference 13th elective conference of the anc to take place here in at, at st george's hotel in irene and of course as i've just said delegates continue to come in uh, we're expecting a president cyril ramaphosa of the anc to officially open this occasion significant indeed looking at the fact that he's believed and seen uh, to be to be you know, belonging in this province in as far as the support base is concerned. So now he's expected to deliver that note, keynote address opening officially uh, this uh, uh, gathering here. Of course, it's been a, quite a busy week for him trying to make it a point that he, he touched he touched down in all of the provinces that are yet uh, that are having conferences this weekend, including your KZ. And we are expecting that from uh, here he's going to go tomorrow to KZ and to, to, to officially close that that is taking place down in, 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 in KwaZulu Natal. Uh, so basically, thus far, a lot of excitement one can notice people are getting ready uh, entering the, the hall to actually start with the conference the party president uh, Cyril Ramaphosa as you say uh, he's expected to address the the gathering has he arrived and what's expected to be the content of his address to the party members Well, he has not arrived as yet. We are expecting him any minute now because according to the program, he's supposed to, uh, to address the delegates from half past 10 this morning. The very importance of him being here, uh, Desiree, is regarding the fact that uh, he's been preaching uh, the gospel of unity within the ANC, something that one can imagine. It has not been witnessed in this past couple of weeks, as we've been saying that there were some court uh, interdicts that were being applied or that were being discussed or that had been taking place in the Johannesburg High Court. And of course, the ANC in the province uh, via their spokesperson, Mudalita Ali Mudhiba, saying that this is just to derail, you know, the process of a smooth, uh, you know, and peaceful conference. President Cyril Ramaphosa expected to touch down, of course, on the issues of unity within the party and, of course, to pave a way forward of what is it that they, he expects from Houding in as far as, you know, uh, 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 bringing that that glory that glorified you know ANC back to its to its glory a moment he, he usually say that that his mission but he alludes to the fact that 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 unity process is, is a that unity is going to be a process not going to be a once off thing so one can imagine that conferences like this one and that one couple happening down in KZN are a step towards that direction to make the point that the ANC is united is expected of course to dwell much on that front when it comes to uniting the party building up to the 2019 elections Abongile, what have you heard on the ground in terms of the names that are, are being touted about uh, in relation to leadership positions? Well, of course, the current acting uh, chairperson of the province here in Houghton, David Makura, is expected to, to, co to, 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 to contest that you know, uh, uh, position unopposed, as we've been sort of sense, getting a sense from, uh, from delegates on the ground here. Of course, the uh, Treasurer General, that is now Ndombe Mehwe, is also expected to contest the, that position again. And of course, Secretary General of Houghton, Hope Papo, is in the forefront contesting for that position yet again. And of course, Deputy Chairperson, we understand that there's three contestants there. It's Pulema, it's uh, it's it's the Buhang Maile rather, and of course there is Panyaza uh, Lisufi, and as well as. Uh Pakistan, they are actually contesting for the deputy chairperson of that province. So those are some of the names that, uh, that we're going to gamble with in as far as leadership in the province is concerned. So we are yet to see, of course, Desre, if any one of those who are contesting will sort of get that victorious you know, win in as far as votes, if voting are concerned. But of course, the important one, that of the chairperson, seems it's not going to be contested. David Makura is most likely to take that post. Of course, uh, 
uh, filling in that post that has been uh, left vacant by the then chairperson that is now Paul Mashatile, who has since taken the Treasurer General position for the National Office of the ANC. Well, Abongile Tumako is our man on the ground in Irene, where the ANC Gauteng is holding its elective conference.